So to prime my eyes, I'm going to use the MAC 24 hour extend eye base and you already know the drill. You need a good base just to lay down all your eyeshadows and so everything blends out a lot smoother, you know. So I'm just going to blend that all over my eyelid as smooth as possible, as evenly as possible. Once that's smoothed down, I'm just gonna set that with a little bit of translucent powder just so all the eyeshadows blend out easier. Alright, so for this whole look, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. This is the new palette that she just came out with. It's It looks pretty basic, like in my eyes, this is such a basic palette. And I would really recommend this if you're starting out with makeup and you need just like the basic transition colors, the basic browns. This gives you everything you need to create whatever look you need to do. But if you already are like a makeup collector and you have most of these shades, I don't think it's necessary for you to go out and buy it. But from what I tried out on this eye, this palette is really, really, really good. Like the colors blended out so well. First shade I'm going to go in with is orange soda right here. Kind of like a light, like slightly light orange, kind of like a peachy orange. And this is going to be our transition shade. So this is the shade you're going to buff a little bit above the crease all over, back and forth. Because with the black smoky eye, we want to build a gradient. You don't want to go in with the straight black because I feel like that's when you start to look like you got raccoon eyes. So, we're starting off from a light, very light color, and we're going to build it up to that black. And this orange soda color, I'm going to build it up a lot, but it's already very pigmented, so it just makes the job a lot easier. So, I just do circular motions back and forth. Oh, shit. <sighs> I forgot. So, I'm going to use a little bit of tape. You can use clear tape, but I don't have clear tape, so I'm using this little, like, washi tape. So, I'm just gonna put that on the edge of my eye right here, just so it's easier for me to know when to stop. And it just gives me that nice, clean cut line. Just make sure that they're both even. So once that's blended into a nice intensity, I'm gonna start to go in with Sienna, kind of like this light brown. And I'm using a brush that's a little bit more precise. This is a Luxie 227. And I'm gonna start to put this slightly under that transition shade because we still want that transition shade to peek through. Just because, like I said, we want a gradient. So you want to start on the outer and then work yourself into your inner corner and it doesn't matter if you get any on your like actual lid because that's going to be covered with the black anyways so you just want to evenly distribute that color from your inner corner to your outer corner and just blend back and forth after that color is down i'm gonna go in with mulberry and this is like the kind of darkish brick red like cranberry red i'm taking a morphe m433 this is gonna pack on the color a little bit more intense because it's like a natural haired brush as opposed to this one that was a little more synthetic but they're kind of like the same shape so this one same thing i'm gonna pack it kind of on top of that sienna shade that sienna shade was kind of just like a base to diffuse the mulberry shade that we're gonna put on top so you can do it slightly under so you just want to place that right there. 
but it's the same thing the key to this look is basically just blending blend until your arm falls off when in doubt when something looks wrong just blend 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 blend, blend. and this is the color you want to start intensifying a bit more than the others because right after this color comes the black but black can be really intimidating but once you have a good base down i feel like it all comes together nicely if you feel like the colors you blended in before got a little lost you can always go back and just kind of like sweep those colors on top that's what this look is all about just going back in blending if anything got lost keep blending all right so once that color is down we're gonna go in with black so i'm taking noir yo i'm so excited that they put noir in this palette because if you see in all my videos i go back to the world traveler palette which came out like i would say like four years ago and i still use that black because it's the blackest black like this black i already know it's gonna have me shook so the key to this smoky eye, what I find is easiest for me, is kind of blending it in the crease like we've been blending all these other colors. But the key to this is blending it as low as possible because once you start to bring that black up too high, that's when everything just it's canceled <laughs> that's when everything is canceled and your eyes you start to look like you got raccoon eyes so i'm taking this brush that's a little bit pointed and it's pointed but it's fluffy so i'm gonna lay it i'm gonna start laying that kind of like a halo eye i would say so laying it as low as possible and then in my crease putting it in the lowest point of my crease so where we put that mulberry shade right right under and you can be as light handed as you want because these colors are hella pigmented so i'm going a little bit above start blending a little bit and the point helps me get into my crease a little bit better And you just want to blend back and forth. Just make sure that you don't go too high. And then I'm going when, with this Luxie 237 brush. Taking a little bit of that black and just blending that beneath my crease. So once we got it in the crease, a little bit blended, you want to put down a base before you actually put it on your lid just to make it a little bit more intense to make it the blackest black. So what I'm going to put down on my base today is the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and you want to rub it out as smoothly as possible. That way when you put the eyeshadow down, it's not patchy. And then what you're going to want to do is just go back in with each color that we put down and go back in and blend them out. Just because I feel like it could get lost with everything that we put down. So you can go back in with the mulberry shade and blend that out in the crease a little bit. And then sienna. Last color, you just want to go in with burnt orange and just sweep it on top of everything. And then you can take this off. And it gives you that nice, clean line. I'm going to diffuse it though because I don't really like that sharp, sharp, sharp line. Uh, that's pretty much it for the top of the eyes. So I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera and then I'm going to come back and we can finish off the lower lash line. To finish off the eyes, I'm just going to take a black eyeliner and I'm going to tight line my eyes. You want to make sure to tight line your eyes if you're ever doing like a super black dramatic eye. It's because the eyelid is so intensely black, you don't want any of your skin peeking through because it'll just make it look a little weird. Once you tight line, you want to take the same black eyeliner and just smudge that. gonna go in with orange soda and start smudging that on my lower lash line 
And then you want to take Sienna. And then Mulberry. I'm going to go back in and just be a little bit more intense with that black eyeliner. And then I'm taking a tiny little pencil brush. And I'm going to start smudging out the outer V, the black. And then you can go back in with that mulberry shade and then to get rid of this harsh line i'm taking a clean blending brush and just kind of like diffusing the line so after that i'm just gonna go in with some mascara and the lashes i'm gonna go in with today are coco lashes in the style queen b i don't even think you're gonna be able to see them we'll see so I'm just going to set my face with a little bit of Fix Plus. And then I'm going to apply my highlight. <laughs> I'm using the Anastasia Amrezy highlight. Yeah. Look at this. It's so nice. So I'm just going to put that on all the high points of my face. Look at that. Oh! My brow bone. You know when you try that certain makeup product, like you just bought it and you try it out and you're just like... <sighs> Me personally, I love this highlight. Um, my friend, she tried it out and she says that she didn't like it. It's too glittery for her. So really, you should just go to Sephora, swatch it, test it out, see what you think because I love it. And then last thing to do is choose a lippy. So... Yep, I'm gonna go with the nude just because the eyes are black, hella black. So, I'm gonna go with London by NYX just because it's my safe nude. Like, this nude would go great with this eye. I know, I always use this look color. Alright guys, so that's all I have for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it and I really hope it was easy enough for you to follow so you can recreate as well. When I was in high school, when it was time for prom, I wanted to do a smoky eye so bad, like a jet black smoky eye, but I was too scared of it. I was intimidated by it. So now that I'm able to do it, it's just like ee. All it takes is practice and blending. Blending is key to anything you want to do with makeup. If you're intimidated by this look, please don't be. Just keep practicing. Keep practicing. If you recreate this, let me know. Tag me on Instagram. Any looks that you guys recreate, tag me on Instagram because I love seeing your you guys' take on it. Also, if you tried the soft glam palette or the highlight, let me know if you like it, what your thoughts are. Let me know what you think in the comments down below because I like them. They're pretty good. That's all I have to say. As always, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for watching, for making it this far into the video. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Plans and my soul of addiction for now.